the traditional costing systems can mask significant differences in the company's cost structure. As a result, companies found a new method of assigning overhead costs. Activity-based costing, often referred to as ABC, is a powerful management tool that results in a more accurate product costing system, as well as enhanced control over overhead costs. Before we discuss the differences between traditional and activity-based costing, let's review some concepts from previous chapters. Using material requisition forms and payroll timesheets, it's fairly easy to trace direct materials and direct labor cost to the product. Overhead costs, on the other hand, are an indirect or common cost that generally cannot be easily or directly traced to individual products or services. Instead, companies use estimates to assign overhead costs to both products as well as services. The predetermined overhead rate is based on the relationship between estimated annual overhead cost and an expected annual operating activity or allocation base. In traditional product costing systems, this measure is usually some volume-based operating activity, such as direct labor hours, direct labor cost, or machine hours. Using the predetermined overhead rate, we assign manufacturing overhead cost to jobs or products based on the actual activity. Most systems can accurately assign both direct labor and direct materials. The problem is the assumption that machine or direct labor hours or direct labor cost cause or drive all the manufacturing overhead costs. We'll actually take a look at how this could happen in this chapter. Often, the most difficult part of computing an accurate unit cost is determining the proper amount of overhead cost to assign to each product, service, or job. In our coverage of job order costing and of process costing, we used a single or plant-wide overhead rate called the predetermined overhead rate. For job order costing, we assumed that direct labor cost was the relevant activity base for assigning all overhead costs to jobs. For process costing, we assumed that machine hours was the relevant activity base for assigning all overhead cost to the process or department. As the image to the right illustrates, a traditional costing system may rely on just direct labor hours or cost to assign all overhead cost to a company's product. To illustrate a traditional costing system, let's assume that Atlas Company produces two fitness products, the Ab Bench and the Ab Coaster. Each year, the company produces 25,000 Ab Benches, but only 5,000 Ab Coasters. The direct material cost per unit is $40 for the ab bench and $30 for the ab coaster. Each unit produced requires one hour of direct labor for a total of 30,000 labor hours. And that is found by adding the 25,000 ab benches with the 5,000 ab coasters. They intend to produce 30,000 units. If each unit requires one hour of direct labor, then the total direct labor hours is 30,000. The direct labor cost is $12 per unit for each product. Atlas also expects to incur annual manufacturing overhead cost of $900,000. Atlas allocates overhead using a single predetermined overhead rate based on the 30,000 direct labor hours it expects to use. The predetermined overhead rate is $30 per direct labor hour. Since both products require one direct labor hour per unit, both products are allocated overhead cost of $30 per unit. Using a traditional costing system, the total unit cost for the ab bench and the ab coaster are $82 and $72 respectively. Atlas allocates the same amount of overhead cost per unit to both the ab bench and the ab coaster because these two products use the same amount of direct labor hours per unit. 
However, using a single rate based on direct labor hours may not be the best approach for Atlas to allocate its overhead. Historically, the use of direct labor as the activity base made sense as direct labor made up a large portion of total manufacturing cost. And there was a high correlation between direct labor and the incurrence of overhead costs. In recent years, however, manufacturers and service providers have experienced tremendous changes. Advances in computerized systems, technological innovations, global competition, and automation have altered the manufacturing environment drastically. As a result, the amount of direct labor used in many industries has greatly decreased, and total overhead cost resulting from depreciation on expensive equipment and machinery, utilities, repairs, and maintenance have significantly increased. When there is minimal or no correlation between direct labor and overhead cost incurred, plant-wide predetermined overhead rates based on direct labor are misleading. Companies that use overhead rates based on direct labor, when this correlation does not exist, experience significant product cost distortions. To minimize such distortions, many companies began to use machine hours instead of labor hours as the basis to allocate overhead in an automated manufacturing environment. But even machine hours may not serve as a good basis for plant-wide allocation of overhead cost. For example, product design and engineering costs are not correlated with machine hours, but rather with the number of different items a company produces. Companies that have complex manufacturing processes need to use multiple allocation bases to compute accurate product cost. This approach is called activity-based costing. Activity-based costing, often referred to as ABC, is an approach for allocating overhead costs. ABC allocates overhead to multiple activity cost pools and then assigns the activity cost pools to products and services by means of a cost driver. When using ABC, you need to understand the following key concepts. ABC allocates overhead in a two-stage process. The first stage, or step one, assigns overhead costs to activity cost pools. In contrast, traditional costing systems allocated these costs to departments or to jobs. An example of an overhead cost pool are ordering materials, setting up machines, assembling products, as well as inspecting products. The second stage, which are steps two through four, allocates the overhead in the activity cost pools to the products or services using cost drivers. The cost drivers measure the number of individual activities undertaken to produce goods or perform services. An example are the number of purchase orders, number of setups, labor hours, as well as the number of inspections. All right. The last thing I want to mention is the more complex a product's manufacturing operation, the more activities and cost drivers are likely to be present. All right. Let's take a look at the four steps. In stage one and step one, we assign overhead costs to activity cost pools. The second stage, or steps two through four, we allocate the overhead in the activity cost pools to products or services using cost drivers. In step two, we simply identify the cost driver. In step three, we calculate an activity-based overhead rate for each cost pool. And then in step four, we allocate overhead cost to products and services using the rates we established in step three. Let's illustrate activity-based costing for a company that manufactures lawn mowers and snow blowers. In the first step, the company assigns overhead cost to activity cost pools. In this simplified example, the company has identified four activity cost pools, purchasing, storing, machining, and supervising. 
After the costs are assigned to the activity cost pools, the company uses cost drivers to determine the cost to allocate to the individual products based on each product's use of activity. In step two, we identify cost drivers and estimate total usage. Again, what I want to point out here is you can see that each cost pool has its own unique cost drivers. For example, the purchasing cost pool has number of purchase orders as its cost driver, whereas the storage cost pool is going to use the amount of square footage. Once we've identified our cost driver, at that point we can calculate an activity-based overhead rate. Again, we're going to use the monies that are allocated to the cost pool. We're going to divide that by our cost driver to arrive at an activity-based overhead rate. And once you have that rate, then you can allocate overhead costs to the products based on their usage.